Uh, Velma says, I'm having trouble making content for all the things, social media, weekly newsletter, and my membership site. I'd prefer to run ads, but I can no longer afford to do that anymore. So I'm posting daily to social media until I can figure, until I can. I figure I can sharpen my message by what I learned from posting often so I can have a good idea of what I need to run in ads. It's also helping me build an audience to be able to post to when I do market my membership site. My membership site has over 160 workout videos and they are only of one particular kind of workout, low impact training videos. And they range from 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, all the way up to an hour. I don't feel like I have enough time to create more and better videos of other things that I teach, yoga, cycling, different information courses, because I wanna diversify and make better videos. I no longer have a VA that I've hired through your course because I've had to stop and get a part-time job because I can no longer afford to pay her right now. So I guess my question is what to focus on first, selling my current membership with what's in it right now. I do have a two-week version of selected videos in PDF form and a format that's a course of that same material. So I can sell it in PDF format or as a course if I wanted to. I can also add a live component to the course. Thank you. Okay. So um, really what I want to talk about with Velma is um, the fact that um, like what to focus on first. And, and before we talk about your offer, I want to talk about short form video. Um, and, and this is something that we all need to pay attention to. And I see many of you doing it and doing it very well. So, I, But I want to show you like some low hanging fruit that I think is getting missed. Okay. So first let's look at, we're going to look at a couple of Velma's videos. And let me know if you can hear the sound because I forgot to check that box when I share my screen. Talk about how your muscles get toned and um, grow. They grow and get toned. Everyone, Velma Arms are also known as the Velmaneda. I teach exclusively low impact, effective virtual home workouts with limited time, equipment, and space over to over 40. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. So, TikTok is different and short form video is different than other kinds of videos. So um, I, these are my opinions, okay? I think you need to lose on the Velminator. You do it in every video and you need to lose that elevator pitch of like, I help women over blah, blah, blah. You don't have to actually do that on TikTok. What you did do well on this video and why you are having really great results with this video that you posted four days ago, you have um, something like, you have thousands of plays, like 40 comments. You've gotten really good traction on this. And the reason, and I've analyzed this video uh, above all your other, and, and alongside all your other videos. And the reason that you're getting good traction on this is because you are, heavy, uh, you, see you are starting with the hook. You immediately said, and it makes you care more about, I'm sorry, let's do this. You immediately said right off the bat, I'm going to show you how to build muscles by lifting heavy weight or whatever it was you said like and that is really the key to success on all these short form videos you have to start right out of the gate because we're scrolling 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 so fast immediately what are you going to teach what are you going to learn whatever okay and you don't need to introduce yourself because they're just going to like your content if they like it well enough they're going to click on your link which <clears throat> i want to show and also um your hashtags aren't quite right so Hashtags are still very important on TikTok. Right and this woman, wait. Look at your feet, make sure your knees are up. And then I have them step about an inch or two wider and try it again. Now, here's the thing. Okay. Try I'm trying to stop, Ann. Um, so let's look at Ann's hashtag. She's got. Uh, hashtag fit tips, hashtag legs, hashtag inner thigh exercise, home exercise, women's fitness, leg day, tone and tighten, fit over 50, personal trainer and legs. So if your content is for people over 40, over 50, use it. Hashtag over 50, 50 hashtag fit over 50. That it really works really well on TikTok. Um, the other thing I was going to look at the stuff that Anne has posted on her link. So the links that she has on her link tree that is linked in her profile are all these things. She looks like she's selling some, uh, she's selling all sorts of stuff. Okay. So whatever you want to offer, whether it's your membership or the PDFs or like live one-on-ones, just put it in your link tree and see what happens. You're busy doing other stuff. And I think you are completely on the right track with your TikTok creations, but they're really just, 
and there's this other woman I found as well. And she is really good with the hook. Okay. And by the way, this woman, Ann, um, she has something like 500,000 followers. This person, Tracy, has 210,000 followers. And just by looking at the titles, you see how to lose belly fat as you age, um, uh, muscle building strength workout, do this to improve energy. So even her titles are like, ooh, I want to watch that one. I want to learn that specific thing. And the minute that you hit play on her video, she comes right out of the gate with like what the thing is. Watch. Hey, are you finding it a little bit more challenging to lose belly fat now as you age? Mm, it can be more challenging, but there are certain things you can do that can help. Okay, so she didn't introduce herself. She didn't say who she served or any of that stuff. She's just given us that content that we go to TikTok for, that quick win. Um, let's also look at her hashtags, fat loss, fat loss tips, fit over 50, fit at 50, okay? Um, and... And that's like, these are just little tweaks you can make Velma that I think will go a long way. Um, so number one, using the right hashtags. Number two, getting right to the point, the hook, ditch the intro and, uh, and keep going. And, and because um, I happen to know that like you are uh, a super interesting person with a lot, like you grow your own food and you, you know, you like to, to cook stuff in the kitchen. Like you could show us that stuff too. And just let people get to know you. And, um, and really, really the, you know, the one hour that I spent doing this market research, you know, to see what your competitors are doing. If you did the same thing and like really just make a spreadsheet of all the ta the hashtags that people are using and getting ideas for content. I found that one woman, that Ann woman, there were so many things she talked about, like building good habits and all these things that you're already talking about. Go and look at like what, like make bullet points of, of all their topics and just use their topics. It's, you're not copying their content. You're doing your own content. You're just copying their titles, you know, and because it's working, like see which ones of their videos is getting the most hits. And so I think these kind of, um, this kind of content is the easiest because you were saying you didn't have time and, you know, and all of that. So you're already doing your exercise. Oh, and the third thing I wanted to tell you is that, and I wish I could show that, I wish that, we weren't having this bandwidth issue and I could show you the examples. But another thing that these people did on their TikToks was like, you have a lot of videos of you exercising, but there's no explanation. There's no talking. You have some fun music and you're just doing this and you know, whatever your things are that day. So you got to work out anyway. So you turn on your camera, go ahead and do your workout. And the only real work you have to do besides adding your hashtags is some narration, right? I noticed they were really successful at saying like, you know how you can do the voiceovers, which is just the click of a button on TikTok and Instagram, where you literally are watching the video and then you're just saying, and now I'm going to pick up these light weights and, you know, low weight and many reps is a great way to burn calories and you don't have to worry about getting big muscles, you know, whatever, but you're just narrating and, and, and it, it makes it, I don't know if you, you just look at their numbers, they're just through the roof. So you're doing a great job. I say, stay the course throw whatever offers you want to on that, on that link tree. And let's just see what happens as you continue to build an audience. Oh, and lastly, you have 600 and something followers. That's awesome. You only need 300 some odd followers to now be able to go live on, on TikTok. So let's shoot for a thousand followers and then, and let's see what happens with those tweaks. But I think you're going to see really great things.